Bad news on two fronts. Apparently, I didn't win my bid for the Dodgers, oh. and the FBI has a really grim view of, of whether uh, corporate computer networks are defendable. In the and you didn't system. win the Mega Millions either, so you're, you're 0 for 3 this morning, but sorry. <laughs> But anyway, you've got a lot of information to tell us on this story, which is very serious and disturbing for a lot of folks. So tell us what the uh, FBI's top cyber cop is saying, really, about this war on cybercrime. Well, he said, in quite simply, uh, we are not winning. And he said the current system of you know com companies trying to build walls that keep out hackers and the FBI responding when they detect a breach uh, is unsustainable, in his words. Unsustainable, and then you never get truly secure. And, you know, I think... He speaks with a certain level of frustration um, because I think he feels like companies themselves and company leadership oftentimes doesn't do everything they can to protect their systems. And then the FBI gets called in to try and fix a situation that, that wasn't that great to begin with. Interesting. We've seen, um, you know, obviously this is, seems like somewhat of a governmental issue and not just the FBI. The SEC right. has had similar issues looking at uh, insider trading and other places where the technology simply wasn't good enough for the government to, to police it. And, and do you think that uh, there's something that broadly can be done? Did he, did he sort of speak anything about uh, more than just, just their issues of tackling what appears to be a, a governmental issue when it comes to um, you know, regulating uh, what's going on in the world? Right, and the SEC is trying in its, in its own space to deal with this, and they've created a rule that says, well, you have to disclose a material breach, uh, a, a breach of your system that has a material effect. The, the challenge is that, you know, people in government look at that and they think, frankly, it's up to the company to decide what is material, and they're not completely, com some, some folks I've spoken to aren't completely comfortable with that. There's a are, are you there? Oh. There's a big debate going on as to how demanding the government should be of companies, how much you can sort of regulate yourself out of this problem, or if you can at all. Right, and what was so interesting in your article is you were talking about how many of these companies don't even know that their security has been breached, don't even know that the hackers have got, gained access to their information, a lot of times for a year or more. I mean, so if yeah. they're not even aware that this is happening, uh, it just seems like an even uh, sort of higher stumbling block to get over to prevent it if they aren't aware that their systems are so insecure. And to me, one of the most interesting things that the FBI official Sean Henry said was that we need to completely change the way we monitor this stuff. We have to stop you know, trying to detect breaches because guess what, they're already there. You need to monitor these systems with the assumption that you've already been breached and you will always be breached. And I think that's a hard thing for a lot of people to realize the, the consequences of that and the implications of that. But, you know, I mean, he, he sees the classified information on this stuff every day. And, and what's interesting is he has a very dark view as, as to what the hackers' capabilities are. He says they're just offense always beats defense. And we've been playing defense too long is the way he put it. And, you know, you mentioned in your article that, that, that these comments that uh, he made were not specific to two pieces of legislation that are going through Congress right now, but specifically they are focused around electrical plants and nuclear reactors and, and this type of thing. What can we maybe expect from Congress on this? Are they taking it seriously as, as, as perhaps the FBI is saying that corporations are not? Are they more on board with the fact that we have to get out ahead of this or at least it's try? A, it's a really interesting debate going on in Congress right now because there's, there's an argument as to should the government impose a series of requirements or standards that places like power plants and nuclear reactors have to maintain in their computer systems. And there's a view <coughs> among the business community that says, you know what? A new regulatory structure is not going to help. Um, and and but you know if you, if you talk to plenty of people in the government cybersecurity space, they they will tell you actually that's exactly what we need. And this argument is playing out on the Hill right now. And it's not clear that frankly much of anything of significance is going to pass in an election year. But I think they're having such a struggle just to, to try and get their hands on this one little piece of it. Right. I think that sort of speaks to the broader problem throughout. U.S. industry. And Devil, real quickly, because we, we have to let you go, but I'm just curious, is it cost that's preventing a lot of these corporations from taking this seriously because of the, just the sheer amount that it would take to, to fight this? If you, if you talk to the government folks, they'll tell you part of it is cost, part of it is comprehension of the, of the technology. You know, there are some technologies out there that, that, according to some people I talk to, you know, a lot of executives just don't, simply don't understand how it works and what the risks are. So I think cost is a factor. I think ease of use is a factor. And I, I think an understanding of, of how capable the hackers are. I, I think hackers 
the, the really sophisticated ones are just much, much better than the people who are paid to protect from them. From them.